Once upon a time, there was a poor family from the capital of Qatar. Qatar is the center of many graceful warriors and active heroes. But just as the high nobility, the magnificent provincial town also knows its underclasses. Merida, the daughter of Anne Lynn and Birchtold, had to beg every day on the big market square. Anne Lynn was very susceptible to illness, and therefore she could not work often. Birchtold was a farmer, but the harvest was barely enough to survive. It was winter, and at this time of the year, Merida had to really hope for the good hearts of the citizens. The spring harvest offered only a small supply this year. Taxes in the country were immensely high due to the reign of the cold-hearted Anthenius IV. So Merida made her way through the freezing cold. Driven by the cold wind, soft snowflakes flew through many holes in her old-looking dress. Merida would like to visit the educational center of the big metropolis. Much better than to show that she is poor over and over again. But the family's financial situation has denied her the desire for many, many years. Arriving at the bazaar, she looked around for a nice-looking citizen. Suddenly, she saw a slightly older, smiling man. She approached the gentleman and was about to start talking when suddenly two cheeky fairies began to throw snowballs at her. They laughed and shouted. <laughs> There's the little beggar girl. Suddenly, the man turned to the fairies and got very angry. Go away, you cheeky little fairies. Eh, come on, Melkor. <laughs> they said and ran away. As soon as the fairies ran off, the anger in the man's face subsided. He turned questioningly to Merida and asked her if he could do her any good. Merida explained the situation of her family to him and asked for some money. The man laughed. <laughs> Instead of giving her some gold, he gave her directions to a sacred place. Here, she should scream his name three times loud into the wind. Whispering, he told Merida that his name is Wilbolt. Arriving at the place described by Wilbolt, Merida listened to the wind. Quiet. It was incredibly quiet here. Shaking her head, she approached the monument and screamed. Several minutes passed, and nothing happened. As she was about to turn and leave, a magical, gorgeous, and equally scary woman appeared. Do not be afraid, my child. You called my brother's name three times. So say, my love, what is your wish? Merida didn't know what to do. And before she could talk, she began to laugh heartily in thought.